Hello everyone, iOS 18 has just officially came out in a beta format, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 12 mini and see if it's worth installing. First of all, I would not recommend installing this update just yet. In the next couple of months, it'll probably be worth installing. This update size, I installed this like a couple of days ago, I'm surprised I'm just now talking about it. But if you kind of take a look at the update size, it was roughly about 6.71 gigabytes on my iPhone 12 mini. So keep that in mind. Not the biggest size update of all time, but definitely a smaller one. It's probably only going to get bigger and bigger depending on how big the updates kind of get. Now within here, one of the biggest changes that we got, which is really cool, is the ability of basically moving around our app icons wherever we want to on the display. So you may know this by now, but you can move an app icon here if you want to or anywhere else on the display. And it's actually a very, very cool thing. So now we can go and move it around and it is something that's actually really cool. And I love being able to do this on my particular phone. And if you click in the top left corner on this edit button right here, you can also click on customize. You can also change the app color, the tint of it. You can also make it you know, from this color to like a different type of color by clicking here. You can change the app icon color, which is really cool. And you can always just go back and change it back to whatever you want to. And it's actually a very nice thing that you have the ability of doing. Our control center got some big updates here too. So now you can go through and you can click on the top left corner, the plus button right here. And you can go ahead and modify your control center. It's completely customizable. You can move your toggles around wherever you want to. You can delete them. You can change them whichever way you want to. You also have this power button on the top right corner here. So if you just want to quickly power down your phone from here. Now on top of that, we have the ability of locking our applications. So now we can go through and require a Touch ID passcode or Face ID passcode or whatever in order to actually unlock an app. And that is something that's cool. And you can go ahead and bring an app into a hidden folder inside of your iPhone app library, which is another very cool thing. <clears throat> messages got some really big updates and now for one we have the capability of actually going through and having rcs message support the tap backs you know the emoji tap backs are redesigned you can react with any emoji now you can schedule messages for later and there's a lot more other effects that are added to which is really cool game mode is now available on iphones apple maps got some updates journal app got some updates all the apps wallet app got some updates too and the photos app got a really big redesign which i'm kind of indifferent about it got some new changes and I'm very happy about it, but it does look quite a bit different than before. So it's gonna be a very interesting thing to kind of see what happens in the future here too. But overall, that is iOS 18. That's that at a high level. There's a lot of other minor things which I've already talked about to nauseam on other videos, but overall, I'm very happy about it. I wouldn't recommend installing it yet. Just wait until it officially comes out. But overall, that's a very, very high level overview. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.